peace of Christ to all in this video we will uh, show you uh, you know some more of uh, Muhammad uh, secrets and the standards of Islam because you know Muslims they always try to present themselves that they are people who wear white clothes pray five times a day uh, their women are decent uh, Islam is against adultery all this uh, things which is absolutely have nothing to do with the value of Islam and Muslims in this uh, uh, in this hadith in the front of us and this is the book of Sahih Muslim Sharh al Nawawi and we can read actually uh, this is islamweb.net and this is this one is the official government website of Saudi Arabia official government website and the one who is the minister of Saudi Arabia for Islam he is the one in charge of this website so this is no kidding and this is Sahih Bukhari uh, Sahih Muslim Bishrah al Nawawi sorry Sahih Muslim Bishrah al Nawawi and here we will see that uh, page number 348 this hadith is speaking about something very very disgusting now Muslims for sure they try to cover the shame in this story in here and they try to make it look totally different and uh, because I know most of you do not know Arabic anyway so what we will do uh, we can post uh, the hadith underneath of the video and you guys you can translate the link in Google translation but we will read for you uh, a translated version of this hadith to English so let us see together what this hadith is speaking about we can uh, find this hadith translated already for those who speak English only in investigateislam.com uh, if we go in here and we read and for sure the site is showing you the link this is actually an old link for the hadith should be updated but anyway uh, uh, you will see in here the translation for this hadith as the following actually you know what I'm not going to waste my time I read for you all of you you know good English and even maybe better than me uh, you can read the hadith by yourself and you will see that speaking about Muhammad he is having sex between something have four legs now the Muslims have they, they will say to you or four parts you know the Muslim will say to you this is not about uh, animal this is about women but you know women don't have four parts I never heard of that uh, four legs uh, but however uh, the word in here is used is shi'abuha shi'abuha al-arba the four branches shi'ab can come as a branches now hands you know hands are not branches and they cannot be count as uh, like or we can't say four hands between her four hands because a human have only two hands and we cannot say four legs because a human have only four legs so those have to be something from the same kind the same equality uh, either, either four hands and that is impossible or four legs and that is possible if the creature is an animal now the Muslim they will say the story in here about Muhammad having sex with the, uh, something have four branches and after that he wash is not about an animal first of all my question to Muslims is what kind of books those books is telling us w you know what Muhammad was having sex with and what he do with his penis after he finish uh, uh, you know if you think about it this is telling us that Islam is a really trashy low-class religion but to prove our point that Muhammad he was having sex with animals then we need to read the explanation of this hadith which is made by Muslims made by Muslims not by us and this is the, uh, the interpretation of the hadith made by Sharh al nawawi the Imam al nawawi one of the biggest scholars in Islam and this is the hadith commentary translated to English as al nawawi he said you see it those are not my words now if we read you know you will see really ashamed a shameful uh, uh, story and you will see that the Muslims themselves are confused about what Shi'abu al-Arba mean 
um, four sides of uh, the mean the arms and the legs uh, while other says the fair to legs and tied th thigh and the other uh, means legs and edges I don't know it is really it's a, it's a disaster but now let us go to the meaning of this hadith or the interpretation of it and we will see the following and read with me please those are not my words <coughs> those are the Muslim interpretation words our companions have said that if the panel head has been traded and they are talking about the penis when it traded a woman anus or a man anus look with me a woman anus or a man anus you know I don't know what to say because why a Muslim want to explain to us about what to do with your penis after having sex with a woman anus or men anus unless it is accepted in Islam to do so because remember the whole story in here is about washing your penis before you have uh, before you pray so those are good believing women and men and Allah uh, Apostle he is teaching them what to do after you use your penis hmm? or a woman use even a penis and you will see later with the woman anus or a man anus or an animal anus animals a vagina or its anus like this is really getting getting weird huh so the prophet in Islam in here teaching us and the, the Muslim they will say hey hey the, the, this is not the prophet talking this is the Imam it doesn't matter the Imam is explaining what your prophet he meant to say this is your scholar he's explaining what the prophet he wanted to say and the, not only that this is the companion which means the majority of Muslims agreement about what this about is not about one person only so animal vagina or its anus that's really amazing what a high standard religion and we continue because the story is not uh, is not done yet we will see in here it says uh, it is necessarily to wash whether the one being penetrated is alive or dead <laughs> what hold on a second women anus men anus animal vagina and its anus whether it is alive or dead young or old that's really amazing even that one Muslim they want to have sex with actually all of us we knew the story about Muhammad sleeping with uh, Fatima bin to Asad the mother of Ali in her grave and Muslim they say he did not have sex with her then I want to ask them he slept with her for what she's in the grave and he you know he supposedly she was naked and he closed her he he took his of his clothes and he covered himself and her with his clothes the Muslim they will say to make the pressure of the uh, the grave lighter huh ah lighter uh, okay so I sleep with a woman in the grave that will make the pressure of the grave lighter ah okay okay so in here we will see that Muslims are teaching their fellow Muslims that you can have sex with the anus of a man and animal dead or alive and we continue the story is not over yet uh, if we go down here a little bit you can read the whole story actually I'm going to post for you the link underneath of this so you can read by your own I don't want to say enjoy because uh, I don't think you guys you will enjoy it that much it's disgusting but to make the story short look at the end of the uh, interpretation what it says and here actually it's so talking about if uh, a man he warp his penis penis with the uh, etc you know it's it's disgusting I don't know what's what what's wrong with this religion uh, and and then they say to you the song of songs is poor yeah now let us let us read in here and and in the same time they found the name of Muhammad in the song of songs this is why no Muslim now speak about it as poor no more which is weird right <laughs> hypocrite nation now if a woman insert in her vagina what what what, what? if a woman insert in her vagina women inserting a Muslim woman she is inserting her vagina what she is inserting uh, let me guess a banana no cucumber no a pen no an animal's penis 
Oh oh. She must wash. And if she insert a detached penis, wow, man, Muslim women they are going going high tech. Detached penis, which means they are cutting the penis of a donkey or a cow or I don't know or a dog or even a, a, a man. The maqtuan, which means a cut it off penis. Uh, you know, like I don't know what to say. And look what they are saying. They're talking about the majority of the two opinion. There's two opinion. The most correct one is the one saying she must wash. So all what this is about is the important thing in the whole story in here. If the Muslim women, she must wash or not. Isn't it, isn't it amazing? So Muslim women, she can use an animal penis, detached penis. She cut off our penis of a donkey, a monkey, uh, or whatever. She inserted in her vagina. But the important thing is, you Muslim women, you should learn that, uh, sister, you should wash your vagina after you have sex with the detached penis or zakana maktuan. It's very, very beautiful religion. Take care of every case, every problem. Today, a Muslim woman, she will not be confused because of this. If she use a penis of a donkey or a horse or anything because she knew what she should do after that before this story being given to her her vagina was confused and might stay dirty now mashallah uh, and by the way uh, remember there's two opinion which mean maybe maybe let's say there's 400 million uh, Muslims they say uh, she should not wash and there's uh, 600 million Muslims they say no she should wash so by the way still you have a choice to wash your vagina or not because as you see there's two opinion and the one he says most uh, correct opinion this is mean he agree with the uh, one of the opinion doesn't mean that he is because if we ask different Imam he might say no the other opinion is the one is, is, uh, is alright uh, so all what we see all what we see in this story having sex with uh, uh, animals, dead men, dead children, uh, young, old animals, doesn't matter. And the most important is that you must wash. So uh, Islam is a very, very high class, intelligent religion. You know, study every case and uh, give the Muslims answers for their confusion. And uh, Allah will never leave a Muslim or a Muslim man uh, confused about what he do, what he should do, in case he have uh, put his penis inside a woman anus or a man anus, or an animal anus or vagina, or its anus, dead or alive, uh, because Allah He wants you, brother, always to have the correct answer for every problem you have in your life. And this is why Allah is great, because if Allah is not a great, how He is thinking about this? You answer me. Leave your comment under the video, and as we say always, Christ is Lord, Islam is filthy. See you soon.